Hello and welcome back to another QGIS tutorial. Here I'll be creating TWI map using DEM digital elevation model in QGIS. First, load the DEM file from which you want to make a TWI map. For this, go to layer, add layer, add raster layer, find out the DEM file and select the DEM and edit. So after you get the DM file in QGIS window, go to raster, navigate to analysis and select slope. Here this window will appear. Now input layer over here should be DEM. Then leaving everything on default, hit run, hit run okay. So now let's open a raster calculator and correct the slope map which we recently created. We should correct the slope map in such way that we don't have zeros on the slope map. For this go to raster and select raster calculator. Now select slope and find uh, less than 0 or equal to 0 and multiply with 1. Add this equation with slope greater than 0 and multiply with slope. Now, let's set the output file location of the corrected slope file. For this, click here and browse the output file location. Give a file name. After this, click OK. So here we can see the differences between slope and modified slope. The modified slope uh, does not contain value equal to 0 or less than 0. After this, we are good to go for converting this modified slope into radians. Again, go to raster calculator and multiply the modified slope with 0 0.01745. After this, set up the output file location. Click here, find the destination folder give a name and click on save after this hit ok here we can see slope file in radians now for the flow accumulation go to processing toolbox navigate to saga simulations and select flow accumulation here in dm input uh, sorry here in DEM input your DEM leaving other thing def uh, in default hit run okay so friends it may take a while depending on the size of the area which DEM covers or the resolution of the DEM also okay So after you get the contribution area or flow accumulation, we are ready for the raster calculation for TWI. For this, again open the raster calculator. The equation of the TWI goes like this. Natural, uh, natural log ln with double bracket, we add the contributing area and multiply with pixel size which in my case is 5 meter 
you can find out the pixel size of your DEM by right clicking on the DEM, selecting the properties and going to information and looking on pixel size. Okay. So now let's divide the tangent of the slope in radians. So after you input the correct formula of TWI, save the file to the output location. Browse to the destination folder, give a name, which in my case is TWI.TFF and hit OK. So here you can see the recently created TWI file. And for symbology, right click on the TWI file, go to symbology. On render type option, go to single band pseudo color. You can play with the colors, number of classes, etc. with by yourself. For now, I will hit classify and OK. Here you can see the TWI with four classes. You can customize as per your need. Okay. That's all. Hope you enjoyed the video. For any sort of problem, you can comment in the comment box. Like and share the video, subscribe the channel for the best QGIS tutorial and lectures in GIS. Have a good time, happy learning.